I know in the past that I have said that Google is there to make money. And they are. They're just like any other company in that regard, they want to make money. But I'm going to have to take back what I said about there really not being truly anything destroying YouTube. I'm going to have to take that back. Google is destroying YouTube with them not adding the options necessary for people to control uh, their own channels. They give very, very little control of that. Trolling is the new spam. Only it's it's really negative spam. It's spam designed to make people feel like shit about themselves. It's far worse than seeing uh, uh, dick enhancement products. It's far worse than seeing ads for vaginal cream. It's far worse than uh, seeing ads for uh, dentists that show nasty pictures of, of people's teeth who have rotted, that have rotted who have rotted. Um, it's far worse than that. You know, spam for the longest time, I mean, you think about emails, and spam was this thing that, that just nobody wanted. You know, let's get rid of the spam. Well, if you run a YouTube channel and you're really, really popular, you have a lot of viewers, Google's inability to put the tools necessary on YouTube to make people be able to have control of their own channels pretty much guarantees that the larger YouTubers have no way of being able to keep in, in touch with their fans anymore. They used to have the tools. You used to be able to block people, truly block them. Now, some people will think, well, that's getting rid of free speech. Well, you know, do you expect some of these larger YouTubers to look through thousands and thousands of comments to dig through to find the ones that aren't trolling? just so they can keep in contact with their actual fans? And Google Plus... I, I, you know, I've, I've pushed for Google Plus for so long. I've pushed forth that it's this great platform. And for individuals that don't have millions of fans, it is a good platform. But for those that have millions of fans, it's crap. It's crap. Um, I should say, you know, why I even made this video. I watched a video from, uh, the latest video from Chris Crocker, you know, uh, uh, Leave Britney Alone Chris Crocker. Yes, that Chris Crocker. And he was just saying, well, you know, if you've wondered why I haven't made, seen, wondered why you haven't seen many videos of me here on YouTube, I post most of my stuff on Facebook. And he has millions of followers. You know, he's not going to get bombarded with, with, you know, thousands and thousands of comments on a video that he has to sort through to find out the people that are actually fans. Um, Google Plus doesn't give that kind of option. You can have 5,000 people total in your circles. That's it. So if someone does have a big fan base, they can either only be able to contact 5,000 of them and have a, a, a list of 5,000 favorite people, or 
they can open it up to everyone and then it ends up being the same as, as on YouTube. So then it's, well, let's look through uh, the equivalent of really, really negative spam that makes tries to make people feel like shit about themselves. Or they move on to a different platform altogether. Another thing that's irritating about Google Plus is if you post a video directly to Google Plus, not through YouTube, you can't just see it in the stream. You can't just click play and see it in the stream. It opens up a black screen and then puts the video in this tiny little, little bitty tiny little window. I mean, you can upload something in HD and only some of the time will it actually show up as HD. Most of the time it's this tiny little window. It's just like, what, what's up? Why can't you just play it as part of the stream? You know? So it's it's not good for for it's really it, Google Plus is not good for musicians that really that want a lot of fans. They're not good for people who have personalities that want to have a lot of fans. Um, it's not good for celebrities. It sucks for 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 all of those kinds of people. So. And then Google has messed up so many things over the past couple years. I mean, they've really fucked up searches. You used to be able to search, you could type in plus and what and a word, and that word had to be in the searches. They kind of took that away. Um, you can put something in quotation marks, and sometimes it will still show uh, it will still sometimes show results that are not what you typed in. Oh, this is similar to what you typed in. Oh, this is related to what you typed in. No, I want to search for just this. Oh, we don't want you to do that. You know? I mean, I'm thankful they didn't get rid of the minus option where you can omit certain uh, uh, words or phrases. But the, you know, plus doesn't work anymore. Um, there's a number of other things about their search. They just, they just fucked up. They just, they, they, they just ruined it. And their search engine is the thing that they got their start on. And they're fucking that up. Google is not keeping up with the needs of their customers. They're not paying attention anymore to what the customers want. There are so many options people would like, but Google doesn't really care. Google is now only putting options in that they see as an opportunity to make money. Which, you know, again, I get why they're doing that, but how long can they keep that kind of pattern up and still have a product that people want? How long can they do that? So, you know, I'm, I'm finally getting how people are have been saying they're taking the U out of YouTube. It's, it's actually more, it's, 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 it's not, that's not technically a, a correct way of saying it. It's more of Google is not keeping up with what the you needs to be in YouTube. They're not keeping up with what people need, what people want. They're not keeping up with it. And unless they keep up with it, it's not going to feel like it's made for you or me. There's other things that people have mentioned too, and this is very true. 
when you search for things on YouTube, the results are geared around uh, channels that make more money. Now, you know, I guess I can get that, but I mean, you used to be able to search for things via uh, upload date. Well, there's a number of subjects you can try to look up that if you don't sort by upload date, you'll get tons of results. Then if you try to sort by updo upload date, it'll say there are no videos. I wish I had some examples right now that I could give to that, that show this, but that that started happening last year. I was like, well, how am I supposed to find this, these, these certain, this, this videos on this specific subject that were, that were uploaded the most recently? Oh, well, it has to be really, really recently. Otherwise, you know, no, no, you, you have to get a, a, you just have to sort through this random way that they want to list them. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, they're fucking up the search on YouTube just like they're fucking up the search on, on just regular Google search. You know? And maybe to some, or heck, maybe to, to the majority of people, the way that they've set up these searches gets them the results they want quicker. Maybe there's something about their algorithms that helps that. But out of the amount of people that I see complaining about this stuff, I don't think that's true. They've also messed things up so... You know, if you've been away from YouTube for a week, there's no way to get caught up on the videos that uh, people have uploaded, those that are in your, subs you know, in your subscriptions. You can't get caught up on them anymore. They truncate the list of videos. It's, it's flat out truncated. If you miss more than two days, you're screwed. At least if you have more than like a hundred, uh, if you're subscribed to more than a hundred people. You're screwed. You're screwed. You will not be able to, to, to get caught up on any of that. And you know what? They're doing the same thing to the Google Plus feed. The Google Plus feed is the same way. It, it truncates. Even if you go to individual circles. This is something that that's, they've been doing over this past year. Even if you go to individual circles, they will still truncate that list. In order for it to not be truncated, you have to go to each individual person on YouTube, on Google+, otherwise it is truncated. I get their reasonings for some of this, but they're making their products something that people don't want to use anymore. So, as much as I do hate Facebook, I understand why people are, some people are moving their vlogs over to Facebook. I get it. Even though Facebook has its issues, it has a ton of issues. I don't really like the platform very much. But it does have the kind of control that, that some people want. And if they're not making videos purely to make money, it, it works for them. They can have tons of fans and, and communicate with those fans. YouTube doesn't give that. And the only people that, that seem interested in, in, in going through all the work, if they do get popular, they're the only ones that are interested in going through all the work of sorting through all that spam. All the trolling, all the people that just want to leave negative comments for the sake of leaving negative comments, the only people that are willing to go through that shit, if they're popular, are the ones that are making money on YouTube. This, this culture of monetization on YouTube. I mean, if someone starts getting popular on YouTube, what incentive do they have to continue making videos on YouTube if it's not for making money? What's the incentive anymore? 
It's certainly not to get in contact with their fans or people that, you know, to try to figure out what people agree on. I understand that conflict is something that, that you know, it can help us grow. But with all the, 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 the trolling, you don't really have a chance to do that. How can you tell the difference between the trolling and people that, that actually do disagree who want a, a conversation? You can't. You can't do anything about it. You can't tell the difference on that. What is going to become of YouTube if, if, if Google doesn't fix some of this stuff? If Google doesn't pay attention to what the people need? What's going to happen to YouTube? What's going to happen to Google Plus? Google Plus isn't doing that well. I like the platform. There's lots of people on the platform. But what are they going to do if they don't improve that platform? What are they going to do? Do they really expect this 5,000 limit thing to, to, to work for them? I mean, that's basically the same concept they have that they want to truncate everything. Truncate, 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 let's truncate. You know, it's just, it's stupid. It's stupid. They think their algorithms work, but they don't. Their algorithms are not bringing people what they want. They're bringing people what Google thinks will make them money, but it's not bringing people what they want. Now, does this stuff surprise me about Google? Not really. Because they are in there, they are around to make money. But they have the same problem that most of the rest of the industries out there have had in time. Everything's about refining ways of making money. This method has been shown to make the most money. Let's keep going with this method. It's in music, it's in movies, it's in all of our entertainment. And now that it's reached this critical, what's that phrase, uh, critical mass, once it's, that's not the right phrase either, you know what I'm saying, once it reaches this level where even our social media, it's been done to that, how is social media something positive for society anymore? Again, I understand that conflict is, is necessary in a number of cases, but that shouldn't be all this stuff is about, is conflict. What about all the things that people agree on? What about all the things that people can come together on? What about those things? There is a lot of work and research Google needs to do if they want to keep their products fresh in a way that people want to use them. But they're not doing the work anymore. All they're doing is refining. Same, and it's the same shit, like I said earlier, it's the same shit that's the reason why movies, you can barely tell the difference between directors anymore. You have the rare gems. You've got the rare gems, but everything else is just like, what's the difference between directors? You've got the rare gems in music, but to some degree, what's the difference between a lot of these artists in their sound, in the way that they're being produced? The production values in music whether people realize it or not. This is, this is one of the things that make me not that interested a lot of times in some of the newer music because it's just like, where are these differences in production values? It's not just me becoming an old fart and all oh, that kind of music. No, I, I'm not seeing that much differences. And in the past, there were lots of differences between different, different artists in the, in the sound. 
lots of differences in production values between between different artists, different groups, different producers. But everything has gotten so refined. Where's the individuality? Everywhere. Entertainment. Social media. Ways that things are published on the internet. Sometimes refining things is a detriment. You can only refine things so far before it starts to become a negative thing, before it starts doing the opposite of what refining is supposed to do. Now, if you think I'm full of shit on this, leave comments. Leave comments. How long is this now? Holy shit, it's a 20 minute, it's a, it's a 21 minute rant. Oh well. I couldn't have said this in two minutes. <laughs>